All right, so we are here. We are. We've got James with us. We are about to have a conversation with uh, an ex-client of mine, and now a very good friend, James. I got to work with James, uh, working on his nutrition, his training, for a whole year, twelve months. We worked together, and the great thing is, you know, James has went through a complete transformation of his his habits, his lifestyle, and he's maintained that. So he, he ultimately he has transformed his health, and He's continued to maintain his progress and, and achieve better, further goals on his own. He's got great routines. And the, the coolest thing about this is we didn't do anything at all that was unsustainable. We didn't do anything that was like, you know, there's a lot of extreme nutrition and fitness advice out there that's just really hard to sustain and, and aim to get fast results. We took this at a, a really slow step-by-step -step pace and you got fantastic results, and you know James yep. is a bit, James is a busy guy. You know he's <laughs> two kids, two kids, wife at home. He, he walks away from home, for, drives from Scotland to England on a Monday, and then back up yep. the road on a Friday. So long journeys, and we we managed to to get an awesome, awesome transformation. So we're going to talk a wee bit about that, and he also has an extremely strong beard game. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Shining, shining example. Okay, so James, give us a little bit of background, mate. Um, who are you? Where are you from? And what does what does life look like in the land of James? Um, you kind of gave most of it away there, now. Um, uh, I, I live in Paisley, originally from Glasgow. Uh, I'm married for four years now. I've got two kids. One's nine, one's seven, so they're quite a handful. And you're right. I only go home at weekends, so I leave on a Monday and then I'm home on a Friday. Sometimes a Thursday, but mainly Monday to Friday at the moment. Uh, yeah. Aye, that's pretty much it. What, what do you, what is uh, it you do for a living? I do say a service engineer on the railway for Network Rail. You work on the trains, don't you? Like... Yeah, yeah. I work on the trains and depots, uh, sometimes in sidings, but mainly in a depot. So I'll be just like getting underneath them, crawling over them, that kind of stuff. Got you. Okay, so let's Changing go. Changing oils and powers. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's go yeah. to let's go to the point where you decided that something had to change with your your health and your fitness. What was what was what was going through your head at that point? What was the reasons that you you wanted to change? Uh, just getting. I was like getting lethargic. I was tired. I was getting money at the weekends for the kids, getting short. Um, you know, I don't want to be that dad that's not able to keep up. Uh, and then obviously, you know, things going on around about you. Um, you know, people you see that are in a lifestyle yourself and you're thinking, am I, am I that guy? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be, I want to be healthy, I want to be fit. But I don't want to, I want to be around a lot longer for the kids as well. So something had to change. Um, Aye. It's mainly for the kids, really. Um, obviously, it's for the kids to begin with, to try and keep up with them. But once you start, it's for yourself. Because, obviously, if you don't do look after yourself, you're never going to be able to look after the kids. Yeah, quite right. I can totally relate to that, being a, a dad of two myself. So, yeah, yeah. let's back up to before the kids came along, before you got married and settled down. What Did you, did you used to keep yourself fit before? Before that, yes, kind of did. It wasn't like it wasn't like uh, I, I wasn't consistent the way it is now. You know, I would smash different stuff, different like uh, what, what, the insanity. I've done that. I've done that twice. Um, I remember doing it the very first time and almost being sick while I was, you know, doing it. Um, but I got great results. Smashed it. I'd done it from start to finish. And they bought. Well, not no bother. Obviously, the sweat was dripping off me, but. I'd done it, but once I'd done it, I had nowhere to go, so I just put weight back on again, and then I thought, oh God, here I am again, then done it again, and you know, it's not good, it's not a good way to keep going, so I knew I needed to do something that's going to be the long game, if you know what I mean, I'm only learning that obviously now, but then I didn't know the long game is what's probably the best for anybody to get into. Yeah, would you, would you just do like a quick fix? Like you. 
Sorry, James, you broke up a little there. You still with me? Good. Aye, we're still here. Sweet. So, were you were you ever into like any sports or anything like that when when you were single with well, our kids? Um, I, I, I worked away a lot. Um, so I used to work away months at a time in Europe. So that uh, I was an electrical engineer before. I used to travel all over Europe doing bits and bobs, so I wasn't really home. I would be away for months at a time, um, and then eventually got a job in the railway about fourteen or thirteen years ago or something like that. And that, that's when I was like more with a wife, well, girlfriend at the time. Um, so when I did kind of get home, I'd try and get a game of football with my mates or something like that. <clears throat> I mean, I have been to the gym, but the gym was when I was about eighteen or nineteen, so it was mm-hmm. it wasn't like I didn't keep that up. Once I started working, it was difficult to fit anything in, especially being so far away and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, got you. Okay, so good. Just wanted a bit of background there. And what what would you say there? Obviously, you've came a long way since since we started working together, and you're still doing a good job on your own. What would you say are some of the the biggest challenges that you've faced on this journey in terms of? Improving yeah. your your nutrition, improving your your eating, your 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 workouts, being consistent. The weekend is a big challenge. It's, it's still a big challenge, um, because through the week, but after work, the, the time is my own, so I can get workouts in. But when I get to the weekend, um, it's the running off of the kids. It could be a birthday. It could be a wedding. It could be anything. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's just other things that trying to fit in exercise for myself so that I don't, you know, start slipping on that slippery slope to, you know, lethargic, not very grumpy or not very happy James, you know what I mean? <laughs> Aye. So so if, if the weekends were the biggest challenge for you, right, because like you say, events can come up and then obviously it's just oh, about, so it's a bit of a relaxing time as well, isn't it? When you've had a long week's work, you just want to chill out with the family. Yeah, yeah. What? Is, but that, that was the whole point of trying to get my energy levels back up. So I didn't mm-hmm. feel like that when I got home. Yeah. So how did you overcome those challenges? What What did you find were the, the ways for you? To, what enabled you to stay consistent and making progress with your, your, your weight loss, your strength gain? And keep Just keep getting, yeah. getting better. The program prompts you. That's good. The pro, uh, PM pro, uh, coaching program, it keeps going. It's like, you know, do this today, do that today, do this today. Or it's your day off, do this today, do that today, do that, do you know what I mean? It constantly keeps updating you what you need to do, get your, you know, get your nutritional levels up. Obviously, that all starts coming in as the further you go, you know. So you, that, that was a great help. And teaching you what you need to know, you know, to keep going and keep going. Get yeah, that so a little bit better. So just little messages, the the prompts at the weekend, just keeping things top yeah. of mind. Yeah, keeping yeah. it going, and yourself and all yourself and your group, because posting in that group is like a. Obviously, you don't need to explain them what the group is, but it's just yourself, who set up a Facebook, uh, not Facebook, a uh, uh, WhatsApp group with all the guys, and they can post in there if there's issues or. They're, or try to do something, or they need some help, or they're just feeling a little bit shitty. But then everybody's like, oh, "I feel like that," or "We feel like that," or "All right." And when they do something good, it's like, "Yeah, that was excellent, well done." So it's a nice mm-hmm. place to, you know, go and, and like yeah. vent if you want, or just like talk. Mostly, mm-hmm. it's just talking trash, but it's good laugh, good laugh. <laughs> trash talks always the way it keeps keeps yeah. things ticking over. I always, right, so, I always love it. So for, for obviously this, this video will go on YouTube. So any, anyone who's watching this and isn't familiar with the group, basically, you know, community or I, I believe an environment is such a such an important thing. You know, the the people we spend most time with can can influence influence us a lot. So if we're hanging around people who have bad habits, sometimes that can that can cause us to drop our standards a little bit. And, and if we're, we are spending a lot of time with people or being influenced by people who are raising their standards, then it's easier to stay on track. It's easier to keep um, your goals of a high importance and, and the, the forefront of your mind. And that's, just, that's the reasons that I like to keep people like the clients that I work with and a group together, whether they're 
group level clients or one-to-one -one level clients, you know, that as aspect of it is so important. So for anyone who's not getting coaching and watching this, you know, that's, that's something to think about. How can you, how can you keep your, how can you keep a high level influence in your life um, and, and reference to achieving the goals that you really want to achieve? You know, as, as the other people that you can start spending more time with, as the people you can check in with regularly, who are already on the journey that you want to go on, and, and you'll find those kind of people, they want you to succeed, you know, and they, so if you have friends, relatives, or anything like that, who are already doing this kind of stuff, get out, get out in touch with them, you know, like get advice from them, talk to them often, and, and try and, try and um, improve your social circle. To help you achieve your goal, I think that's so important. Mm, that does help. Yeah, cutting, sure. cutting some bad influences out as well that helps. Yeah, yeah, I've had to do a lot of that over the past yeah. bunch of years. So, uh -huh. what what does your what does your daily diet look like now? Can you give us an example? Um. Okay. So, like through the week, uh, Mondays Mondays different because that's when I travel. So. I'll try and make some overnight oats to take away with me on a Monday morning. And then I'll, I, I tend to go to like uh, a Morrison's and get a chicken or a turkey and a packet way. And then you can get that salad. So you can just pick the salad uh, yeah. and just like get lot, lots of the good stuff. Um, and that's pretty much, that's Monday. And then it, like over the evening, I would get like a fish or a chicken or a beef. And then I'd get it with, obviously, whatever came with. I try and get no chips, but I don't expect them to just sub something else in. But I always get extra veg. I'm always asking for more veg because it's obviously good for you. And it stops me snacking. It's quite right, it does, because the, those vegetables are low in calories, but yeah. you know, high in nutrients and fibre. So yep. you, can really, you can really get that. That kind of full belly feeling from them by filling up with food content, but the, the calories are low, yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, and, then, and then, like, uh, if you start on a Tuesday, I can get uh, I get omelets in the morning, onion, mushrooms, and peppers. Um, and then, then, but Morrison's sometimes I'll go to uh, like a it's a little it's where I'm at now, it's in time, so I'll go to a wee place, it's like a cafe that does stuff, and I'll get like grilled chicken and a wrap, but like just salad mm -hmm. um, those are pretty good as well and again yeah. when I come home I'll, I'll get the fish back to the, at the hotel so being in a hotel there's very you're not limited limited because you can always get something do you know what I mean and then just add some vegetables on the side yeah and try not that, eat like um, you know the, the fried stuff that's a, that's a really important point um, you know you say that there's always something that you can you can order that is in line with healthier eating. Yeah. It is, oh. it is, it is closer to whole foods. It's full of good yeah. nutrition. You get lean proteins, vegetables, smart carbohydrates, and, and all that good stuff. Any, yeah. Anywhere you're eating, even like even if the only place you have to eat, if you're on the road and it's, you only have a McDonald's, physically, that's it. You can find <laughs> it. They do chicken salads and that, and it's not going to be the, yes, they do. Not going to be the best, best quality oh. organic food. But, but it's you know, still a chicken salad. Anywhere you go, no matter the situation, you can always you always have the option to make the best decisions possible. Like it's it's, it's really common a common sense approach, isn't it? Most of the time. Yeah. Well, uh, that actually when my young sorry, my eldest broke his arm and I had to go to the hospital to get it a pin put in. I remember posting in the group. because um, all I could eat was there was like a I think it was like a Sainsbury's or something. So I was wandering through picking the best of what I could find in the situation that I was in. Because I, was, I wasn't at home, I was in the hospital and all that, that's all I was. So I can't remember what I got, but I, I remember thinking, actually, this is not bad, considering where I am. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah you do yeah. consciously start thinking, you know, on your feet. What's no, good, matter, what's not. no matter what it is, you know, you can be happy that you, yeah. you're you made the best decision. You made the best choice, the healthiest choice possible. Yeah, yeah, for yourself, fine. So it sounds, it sounds like your your daily diet, the stuff you eat, is pretty much mostly like whole foods, like mostly one ingredient foods or, or minimally processed, high nutrients. Yeah, it's, 
as minimal process as you can get. But the weekends, they're proving a struggle having two kids who want to go two different directions and who want different things. But, you know, I, I, I'm put steps in place to deal with that. Yeah. Of, it's, a, it's a work in progress, isn't it? It is. It is a work in progress. You know, you just keep trying at it. That's the thing. I'm never going to be done exercising because if I stop exercising, then I'll go back to the guy that I don't want to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So always, I'm always able to exercise, and I've always got the stuff. Especially when I'm away, I've always got the stuff I need. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So, how was your diet before you got started on <laughs> this journey? Give us an example. Burgers, <laughs> um, chips, and and hotels. You can get anything you want. I can actually see because I'm in hotels quite a lot. So you get to know some of the staff. So I can ask for stuff that they're not, not even on the menu. Um, now, I could have done even before I do it as well. So one of my favourite dishes, and regardless of whatever you say, is lasagna. I absolutely love lasagna. So lasagna was one of the staple diets of one of my days when I was away. Um, I, I'd maybe have a pizza. Um, I could probably have a steak pie. Um, some sort of pasta dish, like a... Uh, chicken pasta or even bolognese or a burger it was always way chips most of these places everything on the side is chips yeah uh, now nowadays it's getting a bit better you can get like uh, you know uh, sweet potato fries but they still look like chips and they're probably cooked in the same fat so i don't stay away from them as well yeah that's the th- that's the thing um if you order chips I- anywhere in a I, restaurant, they're always deep fat fried, so yeah. you can get a small handful portion of chips, and there could be anything between seven hundred to a thousand calories in that. You know, yeah. it's so easy I, to. I, I tend, I, yeah, I tend to go with the baked stuff, so yeah, uh, or boiled. So new potatoes tend to be coming out uh, if, if I'm having them. And I had a plate full yesterday, and it was like a it was salmon, uh, and it was like a like a stir fry vegetable and salmon on the top and it came out in a skillet so it was like sizzling away but nice. it came with new like these these new potatoes and there were there were new potatoes cooked and then oven cooked yeah. i didn't even eat the potatoes and i got a side of veg with it as well i didn't even eat the potatoes much better food. options so important question what were the steps yeah. that you took to get from highly processed food diet to a mostly minimally processed nutritious whole food diet yeah, but I, I think it's it's an important point to say. Like, you didn't do what a lot of people do and try and just go straight oh, no. a couple of weeks. You know, over no, no, everything. No. And- no, 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 no. That's not how it works. It takes it takes time. It, it, you can't just like go. Oh, I'm going to smash. I mean, that's it. I'm not going to eat anything but lettuce leaves or chicken or chicken and rice or whatever. You just it takes you through it step by step. But it, you can't be in it for like a couple of weeks. You need to be in it like for a full year to complete. The course is a full year long, but you need to be in it to start picking up the habits. And that's what they call them. They call them habits. You pick habits up and mm-hmm. then they make you keep doing them. Keep doing them. You know, if you if you do end up doing it, like there's the 80% eating. You eat to 80% full. That is difficult. I still have trouble with that now, but... Eat to eight percent full means that when you start to feel full, you probably went over it. So just push your plate away and stop eating. Yeah. Because your stomach probably knows now that you're full. You could have stopped about three or four mouthfuls, maybe even five mouthfuls before that. But again, you need to be conscious of that. And then it teaches you how to do that as well. So, you know, and then obviously the nutrition kicks in as to what you should eat, the portion sizes, how you should eat it. Um you know, and, and obviously whole foods, the best thing to eat is, you know, it's good to eat that kind of food, but, you know, it can't be made this way, you know, it has yeah. to be. And and the way we did things was like, we work on one habit, one nutritional habit, yeah. like every day for two weeks and just that, and then build the next. That's right, that, that's right. Uh, that, that's uh, where, actually, that's where the extra vegetable thing comes in. Huh. Get, uh, get more vegetables. And it becomes like automatic, protein. so that it's just it something you do. You don't take any willpower; it's just like part of your routine. No, no, it's your go-to. You just—that's what you—that's your default setting. Yeah. Default setting before wasn't that good. Great way to make change. Yeah, so it's like it's, yeah, that's your that's your, uh-huh. that's your baseline everywhere you go every day. Yes, exactly. Nice. 
So let's talk training. What do, what type of training do you do, and what do, how often do you train a week? Um, my training is the Get Strong book that you recommended when I left. Yeah. Um, and I've only done that is because if you look there, that's my pull-up bar. Um, I actually had yep. that when I started. Like when I had it before, I actually got in touch with you, but we just hadn't used it in uh-huh. in like the program. I used mainly the stuff that I've put it on the bed because I figured everybody might want to see it. Um, but I didn't yeah. buy it all at once. So I, I, I kind of, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and have a look. Um, oh, hold on, don't talk this. So that's mostly my stuff that I did that I used, and I didn't get it all at the same time. Um, I had these, these are just for doing press-ups. The first mm-hmm. set of bands I bought were well, those ones over there, Resist- resistance bands. The, these ones here. Yeah. I got these ones first, and then I got these ones later. Uh, I got the ab roller later on, and I got the foam roller, which helps a lot when you're recovering. Uh, but this bad boy back here is the, my weight vest. That was a game changer. That was a game changer, and it's really bloody heavy. Yeah, uh, so you, you, what, what I'm doing now is with the bar, which sits alone and it's got a bag over there. Yeah, so the cool thing is you you you, you, you travel with all that stuff packed up in a, a rucksack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and, your, in and, your, and your van, obviously you, you carry it in a van, yeah, yeah. which makes life easier. But when yeah. we started, you, it was only resistance bands and the, the training program slowly built you up to the point where, okay, the body weight squats are maybe not enough resistance anymore. Yeah. Press ups, we need a wee bit more resistance, so the, the weighted vest really helped with that. Yes. Ab roller really helped to strengthen the core even more once we got it to a yes. certain point. And it was like a, a gradual step by step process. So, it does, it is. I, you know, a lot of people might think, oh, I don't have the right equipment to, to get started, but you don't need that. Like, if you don't have access to a no. gym, you can get started just body weight stuff. And each month, just add yeah. in a new piece of equipment and build up uh-huh. your, your when you can afford it. Just, yeah, exactly. Love it. it works really well. Just like keep keep adding to it. I mean, I I don't know if I need anything else. I might. Oh, I don't think at the moment I do. The only other thing is maybe when it, this gets a little bit better, when I can when I'm better on this, I maybe put the vest on as well. You know, with a less weight, and then you know start pushing myself. But I still, I, I at the moment I'm trying to get to doing like three sets of ten pull ups on that. I can do three sets of five with no problem now. And when we started, you, you, you didn't have I couldn't do any. No, I couldn't do any. Well, maybe I could, I could push out two. Mm-hmm. So we're doing better, much better. And, and the proper pull-ups too, like slow and controlled. And oh, yeah. You see most guys doing in the gym. Yeah, yeah. No, like, you know, no. None uh-huh. of that. Okay, sweet. So here's, here's a big question. Like, what has all this, right? What's the, what's the impact this has had on your life? How is your life better now for doing all this? Um, it's a big question. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I I guess I'm just a lot fitter. You know what I mean? I'm I'm like able to. Well, I'm able to climb mountains. I've done ten, ten when I was in Scotland. That's over three thousand feet. Um, uh, um, I can like I'm not tired at weekends. I can run around with the kids. In fact, this weekend I might end up sledging with the kids to the weather. Um. And yeah, I, I think I'm rubbing off on the kids. I, I'm definitely making an impact on work because folk keep saying to me, like, you know, like eat healthy, don't you? Some some folk come in and go, oh, look at you with a salad. But some of the folk round about are like, oh, you're always eating healthy. Like, so mm-hmm. okay, I, hopefully I might rub off another folk and they'll start maybe, I don't know, maybe they might, I don't know. Yeah. But I, 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 feel, I feel much better than I did when I first started. I wish I'd have done it quicker. To be fair, I watched. I did watch um, for about I want to say six months. I'd seen your stuff. I'd watched your videos, and I was about to text you or email, and I was like, ah, oh, just excuses, excuses, because the things in my head were like, you'll never be able to do it. You work away. It's going to be really difficult. You're never going to get the time. And then when I did do it, it's like you're just like I wish I'd done it earlier. Yeah, quite right. It worked out really well. I love it. 
I love, okay, so what goals do you have for 2020? What's in, what's in your sights for this year? Um, I, again, I want to do the. I want to get stronger upper body. Um, so that's why I'm doing the pull ups and that get strong. Get get strong, yeah. Get yeah. strong. Book training yeah, program. That's I'm doing that. it's, actually, it's, it's actually pretty good. Danny and um, Al Alcavado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two that's American good. guys from New York or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Great program. So I'm like, I'm on like week three. No, I'm on week phase. Phase one, week three. But if you, what happens is, if you don't like do well on the test after four, when you get to five, it tells you to go back to three. So yeah. you know, I'll just keep picking away at that until I get into phase two, which shouldn't be too long. I'm thinking the next test, I think I should be okay. But nice. again, it's just you know, slowly. I'm, I'm not like trying to like smash it and get rid of all my body weight, get down to like 2% body fat, because that's not what I want to do. I want to be fit, I want to be healthy, and I want to be able to keep up with the kids, keep up with the missus as well. Um, and yeah, I think I maybe lose a wee bit of weight around the midwif, midriff, but that's only going to go with what I'm doing. So yeah, at the end, at the end of this year, I'm hopefully I'm going to be less fat around my body, middle, and then, you know, so like fitter. Just leaning up a little bit more. Yeah. Oh. We're still there? I came up with something saying something about a time limit yeah, or something. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. It's fine. Just a, sorry, just a notification. So, um, last question. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of guys watching this who would have, will be potentially in the same position that you were back then when, it, when, when you were yeah. changing. What would your advice be to them right now? Um, I would get in touch um, because it will change. It will change your life because you'll get fitter. You'll you'll get to understand just what it takes to be a little bit better every day. You will. You'll get there. Keep at it. Yeah. I actually wasn't intending on a sales pitch there, but thanks very much, James. <laughs> Appreciate it. Really? No, but it's true. No, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think it's important <laughs> to to, to invest <laughs> in, invest in yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, I spent thousands in my own education, becoming a strength coach, nutrition coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And I'm also you now my coach who's going through coaching myself at the moment with another coach to achieve my own yeah. personal goal. I think it's one of the, the, the best things you can invest in in life is, is yourself. If we look at how much money we we spend on clothes, cars, you know, cars we probably yeah. don't really need. You know, and I'm not, saying, I'm not saying don't. I do like to drive yeah. a car, a car that makes yeah. me feel good. But yeah, when yeah. you add that money up and then you compare that to the percentage. If you look at the percentage of your monthly wage or annual wage that you invest in you and achieve what you truly want, it might open your eyes a lot in comparison yeah. to, all, to all the other things that that, be, that become old after a couple of months, the novelty wears off, you know? Yep. Never ever truly makes us happy. It's like a constant cycle of, you know, I bought my car and two months later I was, I was, I was looking at other cars, I wish, I wish I got that model. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, honest, yeah. You know? <laughs> and, and my, my dad always told me when I was a kid there's no greater high than being fit and you know, he was right <laughs> he was right yeah the feeling you get coming out of gym yeah definitely okay we're going to wrap this up James this has been awesome my friend thank All you right. very much I really appreciate this All right. um, we will probably catch Good. up in another year's time and do another one of these and see your progress <laughs> Hi, uh, well, maybe I'll be willing to show you my stomach by then, but no, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Massive thanks, um, big love, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate I, it. I'll see you on the hills. Yeah, I'll see you on the next hill walk. Yep. Adios. Take it easy, man. Cheers. Ciao. Bye.